Here we are in the lounge car. Here's the Master Emerald as a chandelier. All the child's playing instruments. Now is a good time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Huh. Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect an Iron Chef as well. We'll see how we have to say a microwave chili dog is delicious. I like also have to know that the locking door throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. I'm not saying a thing. You will, lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I'll have an appointment coming up. Appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Marty, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers. You can talk to Amy, so that's great. First some more Easter eggs. Presenting Big Chow Band. Take a beat. Music Plant Zone. Oh yeah, it's a Sonic Advance stage. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Give us a jam. Play us a ditty. Aw. Oh, that was spectacular. Feels reawakened. Play us a ditty. They don't miss. These chows understand music. Indeed. Hey, Amy. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been through... We've... We've been through. Do you have any clue for us? Just a hot tip, but all I will be revealing in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on the whole on this whole case. I hear sharing is caring. No way, journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him, then I'll be ready. We'll hold you to it. Uh, can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till I get till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get a full of dinner and couldn't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. She needs for her priorities. If you have a robot arm, just doing a thing. Just an employee. Do you have any power? Over these arms, can you tell it to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Your robotic arm, can you, uh, give me a high five? It doesn't seem to like listening to you. If I can give you a high five, sweet. Just like that. Let's open up this cabinet. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, something leaks out? <sighs> I just think you should do it. I'll open it, why not? <coughs> All that dust, you opened the door too fast, blew it away. Do you see this? A pull string. Marty! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? It's a back door wardrobe opened. Full pathway back here. Come on, we gotta see where it leads. Secret room. This is the library. 
You have to see her pass it from a lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh. Quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Really? A secret passageway from the freaking lounge to the library? Now I think Shadow's really suspicious. I mean, SBO could be actually be sitting there just like blocking, but maybe Shadow didn't actually pass through. Maybe she actually did like sneak around and hid. Let me add that to our inventory. Why don't we just cover it before Shadow notices that we've been snooping? Can't interact with Master Emerald, unfortunately. We found the computer! Wait, 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 wait. We gotta tear you some garbage. I want some garbage. No. Yeah, so I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has always been empty. You've been disappointed every time. We found a popsicle stick last time. Are you going to be sad again in the trash bin, Marty? There's always something in a trash bin. <clears throat> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha-ha! Someone printed out on the front page of a ticket, of a ticket website. It's for a band of Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. See, we eventually get somewhere. Like, eventually one of the trash bins actually has something. I oh, meant to actually open. Can I actually uncramble the paper? I guess not. I'm looking at my map real quickly. By the way, I was... Apparently that was the conductor. I thought he left, I guess. But I guess he went to the front of the ship. I don't know. Maybe he... I don't know. I'm not sure why he was there. Either A, he never left. He just told me he was going to the front. I wasn't paying attention. Or B... Or B, maybe uh, he did left, and the reason why he's on my map now is because, well, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. We'll have to find out soon. Let's check out the computer room. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access from council browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is a shame to be a computer missing the gorgeous views, though. My nose so dang itchy. I feel like you're using a computer here. You must really need to use it. Can I actually find something here? The printer. It seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic rowing a boat, Sonic singing a song. Who knows, maybe it'll be an iconic song, like City Escape. Tricky. Yeah, the inner interface isn't very clear, but... Oh, it won't let me stump me. Wow, look at that. Yeah, let's print out the other thing. Sonic rowing a boat. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. Oh my god, he's being chased by a shark. Right for his dear life. I think like he needs to just run the water because he's fast. Quietly I set this back on the printer. Then we got this billboard over here. Keys. Key ring must be Shadow the Locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figure the locksmith would have a bunch. I wanna take it. Yeah, let's take it. I think we have enough clues, so let's go interrogate Shadow. But there's also a window here. Wow, Tails, gotta check this out! Oh look, it's big! These windows are huge, what a view! 
why are these rocks painted, though? Didn't realize the train would be along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop in and take a dip in the ocean. The train was so nice, I agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air, yeah. I just thought of the same thing. Yeah. Make sure there's anything else before I interrogate Shadow. So why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help. Either you have to ask me to leave B. You know, maybe we will get here, actually. Marty, we certainly will not. Also, can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm heading back to the dining car, I'll whip right up. Coffee on a train, that's no better combination. So marshmallows would make it perfect, sure. Alright, but, sorry, in all seriousness, we gotta interrogate you. Shut up, I've got a question for you. Will you freak it out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. According to the map, the next car in is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. The door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone, to keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He's locked in the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one was locked that was suspicious. Pure conjected, you all. Get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they were never, they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Speech of speculation. A lot of sound though. Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door of Conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Marty and I can explain the car change, however. Marty, what evidence do you have that shows Sonic could have gotten into the dining car? How about this, like, hidden passage? Okay, just getting my thoughts in order. Time for the special stage, and then probably lose because these special stages are kind of brutal in their own sense. I jumped! Really? Here, let me do this. So. Okay, got enough. I just need to survive. There we go. Okay, so Marty and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing the arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Marty. Hmm. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. 
Shadow then picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and then dropped the body off of the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. That seems Tails I, and I were more fruit than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once more again. If Shadow traveled through the Hidden Passage and appeared in the library car, then did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind the bookshelf at the table reading. Espio reading a library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was, what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. And I believe you. You're currently my number one spec fit. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been given away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone uh, but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Marty and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Marty, what evidence supports Shadow's claim was giving keys away? Uh, this key ring. Okay, special stage time. 60 rings, oh god. Oh wait, there's also a forward button that they advertise, but it doesn't do anything. And uh, also a backwards button too. Oh, uh, I guess it just moves me up and down, but I'm better with, like, WASD. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys in the key ring. Both were two keys Shadow meant to give to Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth then. What? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? It's very strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Marty and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Marty. Yes, Sales? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking and exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars and key. Except for you, me and Amy. Right, the conductor gave Amy the birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow couldn't find us. 
Shadow wanted to. Shadow probably couldn't find us. Maybe. The Shadow knew Amy. The Shadow knew Amy, and you and I started in the dining car. He couldn't have given us the keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument, so maybe. She, Shadow wanted to keep us away? Shadow was locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Marty. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Did you- don't you, Shadow? How dare you, Marty, show me evidence. Amy, why are you with that staring grin? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so through, or, or whatever. Tails, think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. Let him see if it's for Amy to show. Well, there's this crap with a paper that is in the trash can. Sixty-five rings, oh boy. Oh. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, I barely made it still. By one ring. I feel like Vector right now. You went rooting through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a... It's of a band's ticket website. For ticket Town, Honey Hot, Hot Honey... Hmm. That's May? Tails, don't. Is this Hot Honey's website? No way, I love them. A uh, Hot Honey? It's a band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of the other shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the trash car, Shadow? Was stationed in. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Honey Hot Band Tickets website exists because... Shadow's a big Hot Honey fan. Shadow's buying tickets for Amy. That didn't seem right if Shadow's a big Hot Honey fan, unless I missed a Twitter takedown, but... Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fascinated with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. It's probably our fault there. I'm sorry, that's all a detective's job, I suppose. When I arrived in the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. It was 
was worried about my social status, and I immediately began brainstorming ideas and solving computers. You know, earlier he did say that he was looking for uh, gift bags, but there is no gift bags from this thing. We only got plastic bags. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live, and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for safety, but for the safety of everyone, I handled, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens any door in the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow and I, your, your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too, how about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Can't wait. Show of a lifetime. Ugh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. That's kind of sweet of Shadow. There's probably a lot of pictures from the concert of you two. I mean, Sonic's dead, so Shadow's probably Amy's second choice. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My celebrity as a journalist reporter, down the drain. Amy, I am curious, who is the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know all as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My celebrity may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who the source is. But we need to investigate the last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's being dragged in my name through the mud. I'll join as well. Time to see through the end. And we're happy to have you both. Marty, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Alright, on, then let's do it. Let's see who's... Let's see... Let's see who's really behind this. It's now or never. 